Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Meghan Markle needs to stop her spending sprees, one royal family expert says. Jenny Bond, a former royal correspondent with the BBC and longtime expert on the ways of the royal family, said this week that Duchess Meghan is guilty of massively extravagant spending and needs to rein it in or else risk losing the support of the British public. Bond told Yahoo's The Royal Box that Meghan has gained a penchant for wearing expensive designer clothes and threw a baby shower in New York that cost more than $400,000. As Bond claimed, Meghan's alleged spending sprees are going to hurt her reputation in the long run. I'm getting the feeling that the public doesn't like her terrifically spending huge quantities of money, Bond claimed. Being extravagant, massively extravagant, she can afford it. She is a wealthy woman, but it doesn't play very well, so I think she needs to just watch that. Bond suggested that the 37-year-old actress has grown too accustomed to life as an A-lister in the United States and needs to try to not be too celebrity. But Bond also had some complimentary words for Meghan, saying that she is a very different woman and much more mature than Princess Diana when she was first thrust into the international stage. Bond said that Meghan appeared to be more prepared for her role than Diana was at the time she married Prince Charles. Bond herself was very close to Princess Diana, so the words towards Duchess Meghan were seen as a high praise. Meghan Markle has become a lightning rod for criticism since joining the royal family, much of it racist in nature. For the mixed race actress, as CNN noted, the royal family had to increase its social media regulations earlier this year to respond to a, raise in racist, a rise in racist abuse towards Meghan being hurled online. Kensington Palace even had to devote more resources to deleting racist comments and blocking abusive Twitter and Instagram accounts, the report added. Separately, the advocacy group Hope Not Hate analyzed a sample of more than 5,000 tweets containing the most commonly used anti megan hashtags. The analysis of the tweets posted between January and the middle of February shows that a tight-knit group of accounts is, being much, is do behind much of the trolling, the report said. Others have accused the British press of being unusually harsh on Meghan Markle because of her race and because she is an American. Thank you for watching the video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.